I want to know what this is like inside. Hey guys, making a keto dessert today. That looked amazing. I went ahead and got the recipes for all that I needed. So let's go ahead and uh, let's make a mess, shall we? I think this is gonna be a mess. There's jam involved, so there's gonna be definitely a mess. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. So the recipe calls for the these uh, flat, carved down seven wraps, room temperature cream cheese, and sugar-free strawberry preservatives. Now, if you like the grape, go for the grape. If you like the other ones, go for the other ones. But I like the strawberry ones, so I'm going to make those. Let's get started, shall we? So let's go ahead and see how much of a mess we can make. with. First, we have the, the wrap. Basic, huh? And I'm forgetting one more thing. Lily's Semi-Sweet Style Baking Chips. Stevia sweetened. 45% cocoa. Not for me, though. Remember, I am prepping for the maja. All right, like I said, that, that, spread. Okay, word to the wise, get the spread cream cheese from the tub. It works out so much better, so much better. Had to pull out the big guns. A little bit more flat surface. Alrighty, so we're gonna edge that around. Like so. You can put as much cream cheese as you want. I only used a uh, ounce of it, so. Don't forget to preheat your oven to at least low until you're ready for it. Like so. Now, for the important things. The jello. Just a regular tablespoon. You're going to do that. Make sure to leave a little bit of room on the outside. That way it's not overlapping when you fold it. Who am I kidding? Let's do this. So we're gonna put the jello all over that. Give it you. Safe keeping because I know I'm gonna be making more. Okay, that Lily's chalk I was telling you about. We're only gonna do that much on there. You can do more if you want to, go for it. You wanna do more, go for it. Like I said, this is for Maja and her prepping that I'm doing for her. Anyway. Alright, butter your pan. Like I said, the oven was supposed to preheat on low. So, <laughs> let's speed that up a little bit. Let's put it on medium. Wait, that butter can I don't know, cook. Hey, look at that. Let's get this side too. Let there be light. Okay, so that's melting. You want to go ahead and take your awesomeness here, place it in there. Let that cook for just a second. So as you stand here and watch the paint melt or make uh, the paint dry, basically, what you're looking for is when these chocolate chips. I don't know if you could see it on there, but they're kind of glistening a little bit. That's when you want to just take your spatula and flip it over like that. And then cook on both sides. So this part right here is brown. And how about we turn up the heat a little bit? Just a little bit. Medium high. It's a sizzling. I wish you guys can smell it here. Ooh, it smells so good. So good. That jam is coming outside. See, right there. 
get back in there. All right, so you wanna flip it over. So if you notice in the beginning, it was a little soft because of the butter. So if this is a little, not hard, but firm, that's when it is done. Now we just had to flip it on the air side. What is this bubble? That is so cute. Sorry, ADD. Um, so when that other side gets done, we'll see what that bad boy looks like inside when we cut it open. Okay. Looky, looky. Alright, I know y'all are anxious. I'm anxious. I want to know what this is like inside. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. It looks like a freaking Hot Pocket. Cool. Okay, let's see. Pick it up. Oh my. Oh my god, it tastes like a freaking hot pocket. I'm making some of this for myself. Oh my god. Well, that was a chocolate though. I'm not a big chocolate fan. But give this a try at home, peeps. Oh my gosh.